Oh, welcome guys to my YouTube channel. I want to show you how to create a beautiful clock with an animated background color. I hope you enjoy the stressing and a lot of things in it. So first we want to look at the lesson content. First we read it and start with something new. So in this lesson you will be learning a lot of things like HTML, uh, in the HTML5 lessons with cover session, div span and so on, class and ID, or CSS lessons you learn the analytics of class selector, layout, position, margin and padding and so on, legs, justification and alignment, you learn animation, timing function of animation, duration and iteration counts of the animations, alright, for the JavaScript lesson you also learn and HTML, you learn how to grab an HTML element, modify an HTML element in a content, updating the UI with the timing function, and the ternary operator or conditional operator. Now, without further ado, let us um, dive into the lesson. So, create your file, your HTML file, call it anything you want to call it. We've called it clock with animated background.html. It should always end with .html. So first thing you do is write HTML file, HTML if you're in VS Code, click on the colon 5 of it to prefill it with the proper tag to rightly define this um, file. So we, we want to change the title to something like um beautiful club i guess that that suits it well so if we go back and refresh the the browser now we'll see it will show nothing so you can i refresh and you see nothing is that okay all right so the next thing is we want to start populating this as we start with section Selection. I write it in full um, and give it a time plus. I grab a div as well and give it and plus. If we close all of these, I mean, if we save all of these and go to refresh, we'll still see nothing. Okay, because we've not had it the content of each of these elements yet but if you inspect it you will see it anyway there's not a the cost for basic things as such so we we'll just as you already know if i have some experience with writing html uh, um, so the next thing we want to do we want to have spans first span of um ID as class of as you click enter come to the end of it I have span of divider I also create on a span of span of ID minutes and class minutes and I enter span of divider as well the divider will be a colon that will refer okay yeah so the divider will basically be the colon we used to separate these um, these handles like the hours minutes and seconds so the last span we'll have is the seconds and class of seconds as well. Alright. If we refresh now, we'll see something not good here. You can see it here. Just the two dividers we've created. Alright, so it is the JavaScript file uh, that we do all the um updating and adding to the UI. 
So let's go to this style first. Let's try to style it. Um, this is a single file application, so all of watch HTML, CSS, and JavaScript wants all of them to be in a single file, which is the HTML file. All right. So the first thing we want to do is grab the time class and first position we should position it as fixed. This will make it not to move air upward or downward but in a fixed position so for the top of this fixed position we want it to be at zero percent and likewise the left to be at zero percent then the width how wide should it be of course it should fill the whole screen same thing with the height the height should also fill the whole few parts yeah so having done that what else do we need um, if we just okay we're coming back to that on and create the animations all right so the next thing is we want to play here we want to give the hands a background color of white Sorry, a text color. For text color, we don't need to use anything. Just color will give it, give us what we want. So I still will do. And what else they want to do with that? Okay, font size. I want the font size to be big enough for it to pick up. And font weight should be bold. You could call it bold or bold, whichever. Um, what else do we need here? Okay, let us also um, style the handles like the has each of these handles. The has the minutes, very dot minutes for class selector, and okay, separated with comma that seconds what this does is that each of these which uh which includes hours minutes seconds will be styled individually with the same kind of style it's not uh, it's not like the first which we did and and covers everything but it's not actually touching touching individual styling so individual styling here uh, should be um we want it to have a background color of white, black. Okay, black. That should be 0006. Then we want it to have, yeah, that is transparency. If you separate the first six, you'll see another two, last two. This, the last two digits are for transparency. You can see the transparency option here. Up, um, so the next thing you want to see is to give it a border radius of 10 pixel. And also we want to give it a margin, give each a margin of 10 pixel. Okay, so for our divider, we want a divider to have for the top, let it have no margin. <laughs> so it put it top and bottom, no margin. That's it. That's the first value. Then the left and the right should have minus 10 pixel. That is because um each of these handles the hours minutes and seconds already have okay a margin of 10 pixel and that margin will affect the divider so also to neutralize that effect that's where we're using minus for the left note this margin for the 
hours, minutes, and seconds. It's put for for the four corners. I mean, for the four axes, top, left, right, and bottom. The four will be affected, but in this case, we just want to neutralize only the um, left and right. So having done that, so we also we want to have a padding of ten for each of the handles, like say as should be 10 pixel minutes should be 10 pixel padding and seconds should have check seconds should have a 10 pixel padding okay and yeah we're done we are not done with the star but let us preview and see what it looks like see what it looks like so Okay, let us also give it a dummy value for for the and those zero zero seconds, zero zero minutes and zero zero hour. So if we come back we have it, but it's still not looking as we want. So we come and say display flex, we want flex, flex will do the magic here. Also, justify content it should be center and align items it should be center so the justify content is like bringing this in and to the center here it will be at the center here while okay let me take it let us take it individually so you see the effect all right you've seen it why the align items center brings it to the center of the page I, get, I hope you get it right now okay so we don't want to add background color here because in the animation the animation will undo that so let us give it an animation of these properties first the name and the duration that will be all before we move to something else so let us call it BG and name, but that is background and name. There is a constant name, so you could use any name of your choice. We want it to be in 10 seconds. So we come here and define the animation and do. Let us do it here at keyframes. You will use at keyframes to define an animation. Also, the identifier will be exactly. The name of the animation we called it here. So this identifies VG and name. Alright. So the other thing is the keyframes at zero percent. What should the background color be? Background color should be um blue. I want blue at 33.333 percent what should be the background color the background color should also be now the background color should be um yellow okay at 66.666 i used these values because i only want three keep frame points which are 0.133.66 if you divide 100 by 3 you should have these values first 300 by 3 should give you 33 point this and 100 by 6 should give you the other value which is 66.6 and so on so background color here yeah, should give us we want to read just want to play with the primary colors alone okay so at 100 percent when it gets to 100 percent what should it do of course the background color should return to blue so these are the three anchor points let us play it and see what it gives us yeah now it looks good it looks good but remember the clock is not counting how do we keep the clock counting Oh, the other thing after the animation played and stopped, 
it did not iterate so we come and give it animation iteration count remember we said we'll cover it infinite meaning it will keep on playing that way playing that way playing that way till forever till you close the page or you close the app so lastly we want to do the javascript part so yeah we use script script without src so that we can write the contents of the script the code of the script in the in the body part of the script so first we want to um grab the r element say so let r element equal to document dot get element by id that's how to grab um html element using its id so for the id remember we said the id should be has so we also do the same thing for minutes we do the same thing for seconds all right we've grabbed it so what's next we need to update we've grabbed it we need to push some values to it but then we need to do this every second because the time counts every second that's where the set interval comes in interval means the set interval helps us to do something like updating or running a particular code for a given period at each interval at a given interval so the i interval we're going to use here the set interval and set timeout both uses milliseconds so one thousand milliseconds is equivalent to a second this week this makes us have this so we bring back our h arrow element so dot inner text we want to know give the inner text another value so we are assigning a new value to the inner text but first the inner text will count the counting here will be in the form of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so when it has one it gives a single digit but we want it to have a double digit so what we'll do here is say we'll pad the single digit with a double digit but we have to first of all check if it is a single digit or a double digit so when it's a single digit we have something like this part this and this so we, this is where the ternary okay let us do the basic one first so you see what it looks like so come say new date dot get as a function so we use the bracket as well so if we repeat this for this minute do the same thing for the seconds remember we have to grab the right elements all right so if we go back and preview we'll see something like this yeah so it's not padded we want it to pad yeah just as we have two digits here we should also have two digits here and two digits here so how do we do that it's pretty straightforward we just have to Use the ternary operator the ternary operator looks something more or less like you will see the syntax now let me just write it here so it will be a condition condition slash i mean comma if yes the yes to execute 
But if it fails, this should execute something like this. This is how a ternary operator simply looks. So this condition here will be in this in our case, we'll use this to be the condition. Okay, replace it with this um less than once it's if it's less than 10 then we pad if it's less than 10 we pad with zero string catenation is now working here yeah? what we just did we catenated the string to a number value so when it appears it will add this zero not as mathematical addition but concatenation to the string of the uh, so it will convert this time to a string and um, pref suffix it to zero yeah, that's, uh, in, in, in essentially that's what it does so this is it so we do the same thing here so if condition I just copy this. Just copy this to this. Yeah. Just copy this to this. And remember minutes. So I do the same thing here, less than less than ten. Then add zero plus new date. I just copy this. That wasting much time. Copy this to this. And if no, just use the provided value because it will originally be padded I mean it will originally have two digits if it's not having a single digit then it will have it to have two digits so let us go refresh and see what it gives us perfect this is exactly what we want to do now let us see the mobile view I need to look for the mobile view how would it look I change this to um exactly so we have this about for this device yeah about for this device a lot of devices so basically the way it looks i hope you enjoy the tutorial you can add more things um you can add more features to it i hope you enjoy the lesson so i hope to see you guys in the next lesson but remember what we've covered thus far we've covered in just this short video we've covered a lot of stuff see you in the next lesson thank you for joining